All right, so this is the Elements backpack from Alpaca Gear. Now, I already did a video on the tech case that they sent me. I'll throw a card up here. This has honestly been a very delightful backpack to use. It's 24 liters. It's been great for my work. It's been great for some small daily carry items. But overall, this is a very small, minimal, slim daily carry backpack that might fit just right for what you have going on. Let's get into it. Okay, I apologize ahead of time. I had to redo that intro like eight different times uh, just because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say. So that was just me being like, you know what, just, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, but what we're gonna talk about is alpaca gear, right? So I was really lucky that they sent me a nice little like, care package gift bundle of three items to review. And like I said at the top, I already did the tech case. This is the Elements 24 liter backpack. Now, if you're looking for a good minimal slim backpack for your daily carry, maybe you commute to work, maybe going to the gym, maybe going to the shops, whatever it might be, then I think this is a pretty strong contender. It has very minimal organization to little to almost no pockets on the inside or the outside. This is very much a backpack that you'd wanna utilize pouches or larger items, or maybe just you just need something to put in there because it's also a very slim profile. Yes, it comes in at 24 liters, but I feel like as 24 liters, this doesn't feel that large. It feels very slim and it feels very contained. And that's the ultimate point on this bag. Everything feels very contained in one very specific area. And I'm okay with that. I think it's worked really well for me at work, taking my work backpack, maybe my work like hoodie because it's getting really cold. That's why I'm out here in the garage with a heater because it's like 40 degrees outside and I'm running out of places to record. But I just think that overall, if you're looking for a good minimal backpack, then I think this might be it. But the one thing that everybody really cares about is all the nooks, crannies, hardware, accessories, and all that good stuff. So let's dive into all of that right now. So first thing we're gonna do is go through the material on this bag. Now this bag is made up of 500D Black Kodra HT uh, DWR, 1680D Ballistic Nylon on the bottom panel, honeycomb ripstop lining on the inside and like i said it is 24 liters in capacity the last thing you have on this are weather guard ykk zippers which are honestly pretty fantastic i really like them so overall the materials on this bag are really solid i really like that ballistic nylon i like that kodra i like the fact that this bag will get dirty but then you can easily clean it i like that it shows some wear but it doesn't like take away from what the bag looks like it's wear in the best way possible the way that you want it kind of like how bellroy bags and wallets they're made out of that like really nice leatherish material that wears in. I feel like this is similar, not necessarily wearing in, but I feel like overall the materials on this bag are super solid. So on the back here, this is your back panel and your straps. Now this back panel is actually pretty solid. It's pretty, pretty basic. Two nice foam pads down the side with a nice air channel in the middle and some extra foam down there for your lower back. Overall, this bag has been very comfortable. I'm not really weighing this thing out too heavy, so I don't think it's ever gonna get to that point where it's too uncomfortable for me because you don't have any load lifters and no hip straps, but you do have a sternum strap and some overall pretty beefy, pretty comfortable foam backpack straps here. Easy to adjust. I like the magnetic fid lock on the sternum strap. Personally, that is one of my favorite things on a sternum strap because that makes it one-handed, which honestly you cannot beat. But overall, the comfort factor on this bag is pretty solid. I really enjoyed wearing it. I don't have much in here. You're gonna see that it's pretty light, but it's pretty much everything I would need when using this or utilizing it as a daily carry. But overall, very solid and very comfortable. As for spots to grab on this bag, all you have is this nice little strap up here at the top. It's a little small. I would have rather have seen this kind of go across the bag and just be like, just barely above where you can put your hand in, like maybe like a nice little long one. I feel like this is almost not beefy enough. It's fine, but if you were gonna put this in the overhead compartment, this is not the easiest thing to grab because it's literally the size of my hand in fist mode, which, I prefer my handles where I'm grabbing to be bigger than my hand so I don't have to think about it. I can just kind of go for it without having to look and be like, okay, now, now I got it. That is the only caveat that I've really found on this bag that makes me a little upset because handles are a big part, especially since I do so much travel, but it's still not a bad handle, very beefy. It's got some good foam. It's got that seatbelt material over it. It's not a bad handle. I just wish it was slightly bigger. Then on the outside here, you have two spots for water bottle pockets. Now this is my packed coffee mug because I'm still drinking coffee because it's like 6 a.m. Now this fits in here perfectly. On their site, it says one liter on either side for bottles, which is pretty fantastic. That means you can fit some of the larger ones in there. But overall, I have found putting water bottles around the size of my coffee mug and then using my tripod actually in here, my travel tripod, it's like a little teeny tiny one, has worked really well. So these are both pretty solid and flexible water bottle pockets. Okay, and that is pretty much it. You have one pocket on the outside and it's down here 
on the lower half. This little flap folds up and then you have a zipper. And in here, this is like pretty much the closest thing you're gonna get to a quick access. This is where I put my Bellroy wallet, speak of the devil. And then also where I've been putting my AirPod Pros as I almost dropped them and they probably would have busted out and flew everywhere. Um, this has been a really good spot for quick access as well. This is also where I put my phone sometimes. I did use this bag a one time on a flight and it was my carry-on because I had to check a bag. And honestly, as a security dump pocket, I was able to put my wallet, my headphones, and my phone right here in this compartment. And it worked fine. It's very minimal, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of dimension to it. As I was saying, it's not, it's, you're not gonna get that much in it because it's only from my knuckles down on depth. So just be careful and aware of that with this pocket. Very small, but very good for an outside quick access compartment. Okay, so that is it for the outside of the bag. Like I said, there's not a lot of pockets. There's not a lot of organization. It is very slim. Now on the inside, in the main compartment, this is where you get a little bit more organization. Now, up here at the top, what I've put in here is just my Airloft 2.0 jacket from Western Rise. Don't forget, throw a card up here. I have a giveaway going on right now. I've partnered up with Western Rise to give away some sweet gear. One week left by the time this video comes out. So if you want a chance to win some Western Rise gear, go check out that video. And then below that, like I said, I use pouches in this. So below that, I have my, this is the Alpaca Elements tech case that I just did that video on. Fantastic handles, pretty much all of my gear. And then below that, because I never go anywhere without it, we're back to my mobile filmmaking kit, which is in my Wandered Medium Tech Kit. Now that is it for what I have just sitting in the main compartment. Now, where your organization kind of comes in is up against the front of the bag. You have two little organization pockets. One's a little bit smaller at the very top, and this is where I've been keeping my extra fast charger for all my Apple products. I have so many Apple products that I always like to have a charger as easily accessible as possible. Since most airlines now have like little plugins underneath the seats, unless you fly like the garbage can of the sky, which is Frontier and Spirit. But otherwise, like when I was flying United, Delta, and American the last four weeks, because I've been on the move, I always liked having my charger easily accessible. Very nice little mesh guy, got some dimension to it. Perfect for small items, you can easily put pins, maybe a little like anything. I don't know, it's kind of small. That was the other problem I had with it. A little small of a pocket, but overall worked really well. Now below that is a slightly bigger pocket, and this is where I've been putting my notebook, this is my 365 day notebook that I'm getting ready for next year. I've got a whole plan for next year to grow this channel and grow my video and my film and all that good blah, blah, blah stuff. Anyways, that pocket's a little bit bigger, perfect for things like notebooks or little larger items if you need them on your daily commute. Now, here's the thing about this bag that I don't have any of these items specifically because I knew I probably wouldn't utilize them that much, but right on top of that pocket, you have three like little pass-through looking guys. Now they have what they call a hub system. Now it's these little clips and you can attach things to these clips inside this bag. Now they actually have three more of those attachment points up against the laptop bag. Now I'll link that side of their page down below, but basically you can buy these little things and you can clip them on here and then you can like, they're easily attachable, put accessories, you can kind of customize this bag a little bit more, not with pocket organization, but with these little like clippy things that have like different organization bits attached to them, which are really cool. They're, they look really useful. And honestly, I think that if you're looking for something like that, that would work. I personally don't like those kind of things. I like pockets and pouches, but your mileage may vary. So if you're interested in those hub accessories, they really do elevate this bag. Plus they use them with a lot of other um, alpaca bags, I believe on the little like messenger thing that I'm gonna review next, they are on that as well. So if you're interested in alpaca, those definitely could be a good investment for you. Okay, you pretty much don't have that much left. Otherwise you have a laptop sleeve. This is my 13 inch uh, MacBook. Air, you can fit up to a 16 inch in here, easy peasy. I have my work laptop, it's a 15 inch, it fits in here. No problem, it's a ThinkPad from 1993. So, you know, it works really well. I'm using my regular laptop as an example because my work laptop has all my information on it, like on the front of the laptop. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you that. But a uh, nice laptop pocket, if I'm being honest. Up off the bottom of the bag, it's spacious, it's big, it works. There is no gimmicks to it. There is no like magnetic flip thing. It's just, you put it in there, you pull it out. That's what I like. I, those little like strappy things, not my favorite thing in the world, but that is it. This is the entire bag. It's very minimal, it's very simple, it's very small, it's very slim, but I like it. I like that I can put just the right amount of stuff in here and not be heavy. It still maintains comfortability. It's easy to use and it's just a small bag. This is a perfect carry-on if you're checking a bag. This is a perfect down to the shops. This is perfect to the cafe. If you're somebody that needs a little bit more in the wintertime, throwing a jacket in here works really well. 
I just think that overall, this is a pretty good slim daily carry, like little, little backpack, a 24 liter that feels more like an 18 liter that packs out like a 24 liter, right? Like that's kind of the vibe I get from it is it feels smaller than what it is, but it fits exactly what you need and it fits the size that it's supposed to. So that's always uh, a plus as well. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Elements backpack from Alpaca, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Or you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com where I'm happy to answer any other questions, comments, concerns, videos, suggestions, lists, whatever it might be over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support you continue to show this channel. It means the world to me. And with all of that being said, I will see you next time.